one day after Valentine's Day, or as I would like to put it, happy anti-Valentine's Day. Why is it that we have this made-up day of the year that is so commercialized that we have to tell our significant other how much we love them? It comes around once a year. That's probably as frequent as the Raptors get a victory. And when you're single, boy, you have friends that love to want to set you up with someone, especially on Valentine's Day. Surprisingly, this happened to me yesterday at the Raptors game when this girl sitting beside me maybe had a little bit too much to drink but thought me and my coworker should hook up. And she did, however, suggest I should mingle with some big guys downstairs and maybe I could lure myself to getting courtside tickets at the next Raptors game. That's wishful thinking because it was just not going to happen. Yes, my whole intent on Sunday night was to go down to the ACC and witness the Blake Show in the flesh, live and in living color. And I must say, I was slightly disappointed because the Raptors defense saw what was coming and they all decided to back up out of the way so they wouldn't get posterized. And I'm going to admit, the only pass I saw from the ball hog, Baron Davis, was an alley-oop feed. To, of course, none other than Blake Griffin. Other than that, the Raptors were actually able to close out a game. Can you actually believe it? They go to 15 and 40 on the season. I'm not going to lie, but I did have my doubts in the fourth quarter. But there was Andrea Bargnani and DeMar DeRozan to save the day. DeMar DeRozan did have the anything you can do, I can do better attitude as he was throwing down some vicious dunks of his own and showing Blake Griffin the competition he has in store for him Saturday night at the dunk contest. The struggles continue for the Clippers as they now dock two straight games to the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Toronto Raptors out of all teams. Maybe it's because they need Eric Gordon back in the lineup, their leading scorer, who's been out with a wrist injury. One thing to remember from inside the Purple Room, always work hard because you will be rewarded in the end. Up next for the Toronto Raptors, a date against their former franchise, Chris Bosh, who makes his arrival for the first time back to the ACC. Will he get booed louder than Vince Carter? Let me know your thoughts. I'm Pyle. Thanks again for joining me from inside the Purple Room, and I will see you again next time.